Um, I love this this uh, drawing uh, because it's, it's such a good depiction of what I experienced on the inside of both of these two organizations, right? Um, you know, you can see the pencil on the left obviously looks really sharp, right? It looks great. It looks amazing. But what kind of work is actually happening with that pencil, right? Not very much. When you look at the one on the right, you can clearly see that there's been a lot of work that's been done. And normally, you know, for those of you that remember using pencils, uh, those pencils uh, end up really short, right? Uh, chewed on one end, uh, but they're getting a lot of work. Um, so it's easy to look sharp when you haven't done any work. When, when lean thinking is implemented properly, it's messy. Uh, and it takes a lot of hard work to sustain that. Many leaders, uh, they, 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 they're they looking for, you know, those short-term fix or give it to me now. Give me the, uh, the you know, the what, what's the, the the special sauce? Uh, let, let's make this happen, you know, overnight. And, it, and, it, and lean and continuous improvement, it's just not an overnight thing. It's it's a long-term gain. Uh, so, you know, throwing up some value stream maps on the wall, uh, painting the floor, marking where the trash cans go. This does not make a company lean. Right. This doesn't create a culture of continuous improvement. Um, so we have to ask ourselves, what is necessary in order to sustain a true lean culture? 